guys i'm back with another bill review this is the ambi bill for cody 17 krypton it's based on a brand new skin i'll leave the link down below in the description if you just want to install the skin alone or if you want to um install this build all right so let me show you around this build real quick here we have movies tv shows your live tv and your add-ons all right the live tv is if you have like a service for um, ip tv if you have a service it'll be right here all right so let's scroll down here we have um continue watching so basically if you're watching a movie and you stop it to go do something else or whatever it'll be right here so you could jump right back into it and continue watching it and um here you have your live tv this is the last two channels it's your tv channels your guide recording timer timers and your radio channels here you have the next up so if you watch a tv show and you know you continue watching it or whatever it'll be right here let's go into gotham and it takes me straight to my episodes as you can see i was watching this one and it came right here all right so this will populate the more shows you watch and they'll be right here here we have recently added movies and rec recently updated TV shows. Alright. Now to update these. You will go all the way to the left. And then you'll scroll down to where it says refresh videos. And um, it will update in the background. And it will add it right here. Alright, let's go into movies. Here you have all movies, search, and all the way on the top you have your favorites folder and also search. Alright, here you have recently added movies, your genres. Here you have recommended. Because you watch Barefoot. So whatever movie you watch. In a few minutes or so. It'll go by. Which movie you watched. And it'll. Try to throw something similar to it. On here. And here you have movies in the top 250 all right let's go into all movies here you want to give it a few seconds for it to pop up that's like 9300 and something movies in here all right all the way on the top you could sort this by title year ratings date added and so on all right to the right here you have a bar to jump to the first letter of a movie let's say you'll jump to s all right so you can start scrolling down with the movie that starts with a s whatever movie you're looking for Jump back to the top. And here, all the way to the top right, you could change your view. All right, and um, you also have the continue watching right here. In fact, let's do the search. I'm going to search for the movie Salt. 
Right on the bottom, here you have episode that has the word salt in it. Now you want to hit your context button and then go to movie information. And this is the movie I'm looking for. And as you can see over the, at the bottom, you have the cast. You can watch it from here or show full plot or play the trailer. Alright, now let's back up out of there. Here we have our TV shows. And once again, here you have your next up. Your TV shows be added here. The more shows you watch, the more it gets populated right here. Your recently added TV shows, your genres. Your recommended. And um, TV top. TV shows in the top 250s. Alright, let's jump into all TV shows. Let me start from the beginning. And also all the way to the right on the sidebar, you could scroll down to the first letter of the TV show you're watching. Let me jump to F. Up. And if you want to jump back all the way to the top, you can. All right, your recently updated TV shows, genres, and so forth. Let's go into live TV. And um, these channels will be in here. Um, they might last, they might not last. But um, if you have your own, your own service or your own list, you can add them. All right, this is the last two channels. So these are the channels I've just been watching and in progress channels all right let's jump into the TV channels all right let's try the next one So you have a couple of channels here. It will be in the build. Alright, you could change it all the way on the top. Where it says group. You could do entertainment, kids, Canada, movies, premium, or sports. Let's go into sports. Here you have your um, ESPN. Let's go to ESPN 2. And then good quality. Fox Sports 1. Fox Sports 2. This is Fox Sports Prime Ticket. Alright, so you have a few sports channels in here. Like I said, I don't know how long it's going to last, but it's in here if you need it.
All right. And here you have your movies. You have Cinemax, you have Epic, Cinemax, Showtime, HBO, Stars, um, Sky Movies. Right here we have our add-ons, and we have the TV One add-ons in here. All right, so basically this build is not running off of add-ons, so all the movies are in the library. So none of these, um, excuse me, this build it doesn't use any of no add-ons. All right, but your TV One add-ons is here. You have the different um, TV One add-ons. And I want to show you something also with the add-on. Let's go into TV1. Uh, let's go to UK and USA channels. Um, I'm going to just pick this one. I would just want to show you something for the video. I'm going to try another one. All right, you see how fast it loaded? Let's try one more. Let's go for its CBS. All right. Now, when you go to the TV One um, add-on and hit your context button, and you go to settings, I've ticked on this one right here, use input stream adaptive. Alright, I'm going to turn that off and hit OK. Usually the add-on just comes with it off. And it takes a little bit longer to load. As you can see. See, it just takes a bit longer to load and longer to um, exit out of it. But um, with it ticked on, if you're having problem on your device and it's not working well, I suggest you take it, um, take it back off. I'm going to take it back on. Hit OK. Oh, let me go back into the add-on. I'm going to go back to the same channel and see how fast it loads. All right, so you have um different TV One add-ons in here. All right, so some of them work, some of them don't work. And here you get to choose your link. Let's choose the first one. Some of them are bad quality. Some of them is all right. Now keep in mind, all of these movies are one click also. And on all the way on the bottom where it says media info, you can see which quality it is. You can see it's in 720. As you can see, every movie that's in here, just one click and it goes. All 
All right, so let me show you how to install this build. Um, um, before I go do that, let me show you where um, your add-on installer is. You'll go to add-ons, and on the top where it says my add-ons, you have install from repository and add-on browser. You could go to add-on browser, here you can install from zip file or install from your repository. All right. I forgot to show you also you have your next aired right here and um random movie. When you click on random movie, you get this dialog. I'ma just click on all. You give it a couple of seconds to get you a movie and it'll automatically start playing that movie. All right, so it shows a movie. I don't know a movie. This oh, it's all good things. All right, so every time you press on that, it'll pick a different movie. All right, here you have your next aired. So it's looking for all the TV shows so it should give you information on when they come on. As you can see there's a lot of TV shows. Today is um well it's in Saturday. So it's only these TV shows that's coming on. It's um The Walking Dead and Dirk's gently hostilic that um detective agency on Sunday you have all these TV shows. Let's say if you're watching the new Star Trek TV show, you could click on it. And it'll take you to the episodes. So this one's coming up next week, episode 6. I watched episode 5 already. And the TV shows are one click also. When you hit your context button, you get this little bar on the bottom. These little items on the bottom. Alright, let's back up out of there. Alright, to go to the PVR, you'll go to My Add-ons. Then you'll scroll down to PVR Client. And your PVR IPTV Simple Client. Alright, and here is where you could configure it. As you can see, I already put a link in there. Like I said, I don't know how long the channel is going to last, but it's in there. And I'll try to update it on my end. If I find um, links that work, I will add it. Alright, so you will just have to, once in a while, just disable it and enable it. Alright. So let me show you how to install it. You will go to your file manager, which is all the way to the left. You go to settings. Go to file manager. And then add source and the source you'll put in is for the Aries wizard. Alright, http colon forward slash forward slash Aries dash repo dot eu forward slash and then hit OK. No, excuse me. After you put that in, you I named it Aries. You name it to whatever you wish and then hit OK. Alright, to install it, you go to Add-ons. And then go to Install from Zip File. And then Aries. And then install the zip. Alright, wait for the notification to come up. And once it comes up, you'll go to Install from Repository. Aries projects, program add-ons, and then 
the Aries wizard and then hit install I already have it installed so just wait for the notification to come up again okay and once it's done it's in the program section of Cody you go into the Aries wizard All right, give it a couple of seconds for it to come up. All right, and then you'll go to Browse Builds. And then you'll scroll down to Steven. All right, I'm gonna wait for the art to pop up so you can know that you're in the right place. All right. So you'll click on Steven, it'll ask you to get pin. All right, certain devices when you hit get pin, you have your web browser pop up. All right, or you could go to http colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash build underscore dash pin. All right, so I'm gonna go on my phone and get the pin. And once I got the pin, I hit enter. And the pin it gave me is 7931. The pin changes automatically, so it'll give probably give you a different pin. And then you'll scroll down to Krypton Ambi Build. Alright, I'm gonna just wait for the art to pop up. Alright. Now if you haven't done a fresh start, I suggest you do so. I'm gonna do a fresh start. It was Wizards Fresh Start. I'm going to hit, are you, it says, are you sure? I'm going to hit yes. And then proceed. I'm going to go back into Cody. All right, so we're on our fresh now first copy of Cody and I'm going to the Aries wizard Right, and then you go back to browse builds and then you'll scroll down to Steven I'm gonna go to enter pin I believe the pin was seven nine three one I said the pin for you it'll be different all right and I'm gonna go down to ambi build All right, and then I'm gonna hit install, and then proceed. As you can see, the build is 124 megabytes because I'm not using no add-ons. And also, you won't get the movie section and the TV show section the way it was. It is in this build by using the add-ons. So this skin, it mostly uses like movies that you have in your library and stuff like that. So if you have URLs and links to a movie site that you could use, um, you could add those. All right, so it finished downloading. Now it's extracting the build. It says, do you want to back up skin profile? I hit no. And I hit no again. Does Cody need to be closed? You hit OK. Now, if it didn't foreclose for you, I suggest unplugging your um device from um your power source. I like to foreclose my Cody from here also prior to 
even though it closed, um, the Aries closed it, I still foreclose it from here. I'm on the shield. All right, let's go back into Cody. As always, with any build, you give it a moment for it to generate everything, let it populate and do its thing in the background. All right, it's populating everything. And also, God, keep an eye out on the, um, your maintenance. Let me go into add-on. You do have a maintenance thing in here. I use the indigo. If you know of another one, you can use that also, but just keep an eye on it. I do have it set for automatic maintenance, but only to clear cash and um, packages. But the thumbnails, it, it it gets up there. The thumbnails gets up there. So um, if your device starts lagging, I suggest you come in here and um, delete your thumbnails and your cache. But it does get up here. So my device can handle it. For me, it, it goes up all the way up to 1.6 megabytes. No, not megabytes, excuse me. Gigs. Alright, mine goes up to 1.5 gigs. It, it goes up there. But I have, I don't get no lag because I'm on the shield. So if you're on a fire, if you're running this on your fire stick or you have the skin installed with certain things on it, you know, just keep an eye on your thumbnails. But for me, the more thumbnails is in there, I don't know, my device still runs smooth opposed to it pulling different thumbnails from different sources so it builds it to me it lags every time you delete it maybe it runs different for you but every time i delete it and it rebuilds back up it's my device starts to lag even though i'm on the shield so for me i leave that be once in a while i delete the thumbnails but I leave that be. So that way when I always go into Cody, it's not going to try to pull back all those thumbnails. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And um, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channels, hit that subscribe button.